If you count the blinks, you'll see we have one, two, three, a pause, and then one. That correlates to code 31. Pressure switch did not close or reopen. So I removed the condensate trap and cleaned it out. And I actually just pulled the pressure switches out. Because there was a little bit of water, I pulled the restrictor out of this one. But when I turned it over, the pressure switches were completely full of water. So they might be okay if we can get all the water shook out of them. Um, but it's definitely waterlogged pressure switches. I haven't actually seen them get that badly waterlogged. So I'm not really sure why it would do that, except if the condensate line had plugged up. That would give us some difficulty for sure. So we're just going to clean the flame sensor. I already inspected the vent outside, and it is a 3-inch vent going out. And thankfully it does have a little screen excluder in it. So I don't think any birds or anything have gotten into the vent, but sometimes that can be a problem that'll cause this same code. Uh, like I said, in this case, just the waterlogged pressure switches, probably the condensate had plugged up, backed up into the furnace, and then got water into those pressure switches. It was kind of surprising how much it was, but... We'll just clean this probe, get this put back in. These flame sensors, if they get really oxidized around the probe, um, the furnace won't register that there's a flame present even when there is one because they use flame rectification which is taking advantage of the conductivity of a flame so the board sends power up on this. The voltage on here jumps to the burner ground and the board's able to verify that there's a flame there by reading that milliamp draw. So now we're just going to make sure everything starts up. So with that code 31 pressure switch did not close or reopen. You could you want to check for excessive wind, low in that gas pressure, low inducer voltage, proper vent sizing, condensate drainage blocked or restricted. That would be what happened to ours. Defective inducer motor, defective pressure switch, inadequate combustion air, disconnected or obstructed pressure tubing. If it opens during blower on delay period, blower will come on for the selected blower off delay. So I was able to see that this inner one is not, uh, it's closing, but it's not reopening reliably. I think I got the water cleaned out of it well enough now that it will, but we're going to replace these pressure switches because I don't, I think they sat there with water in them for a long time. So you can see that took care of it. Now it is heating properly, so I think we're going to be good to go on this one.